Okay, Dan Olds here on the floor at uh, the GTU conference in San Jose. Here with our pal Matthew Weaver. <laughs> I'd like to get in on that just so it's official and out of focus. Uh, so, you guys made a big announcement here. We did, yeah. With the uh, Fermi Blade. Yeah, we announced a, uh, a new uh, addition to IBM Blade Center. We uh, put the Fermi NVIDIA GPU into an IBM expansion blade. Okay, um, expansion and, blade. And adding it to the IBM Blade Center portfolio of products. That's right. And do we have one here? We do. We, have we one do. Right, right here right on the there. table. Okay. I like to sound surprised okay. by things like this. No, no problem. Okay, so this is it. This fits into your typical Blade Center chassis? That's correct. It would be the Blade Center H, Blade Center E, Blade Center S across the portfolio of Blade Center chassis. Okay. And so what we're looking at here is what's the back side of it. We've got what, one Fermi in there? There's one Fermi. Um, the Underneath GPU there. is right here. Um, with, with a pretty serious heat sink. Yes, <laughs> yeah. very serious, but uh, co-developed uh, with help from NVIDIA. And um, yeah, one Fermi per expansion blade. And how much memory is with that? Uh, the Fermi is, it, it'll be a six gig six memory gig? Fermi. Okay. That's right. And now, let's take a look at that port, how, that, how it attaches to the blade. Okay. That's so, this thing right here, right? Yeah, so this is a PCIe by 16 Gen 2 slot. and. Uh, what you do is you would take the expansion blade uh -huh. and we'll orient it upward because that's how it goes into the sure. chassis. And the expansion blade will connect to the host blade, um, in our case, an IBM Blade Center HS22. Okay. Um, and two way, uh, two, two, two socket. Yeah, okay. to, to a two socket blade um, and connect via this, this uh, connector. Okay. And then you can actually stack up to four of the expansion yeah, let's blades. Let's get the other side of that. You were showing me that. Okay. Stack up to four expansion blades on one host compute blade. Um, Using that. Via this port. So you can stack up to four of these on a host. Okay. So you'd have, you'd have a five wide blade configuration. Okay. Up to five wide. That's quite a bit of power. It is. It is quite a bit of computing power. That's a, um, and is this in general release yet? It's this not. One? We will formally uh, announce it and make it generally available in fourth quarter of this year. What about the price? Can you say anything about what ballpark, roughly, maybe it might cost? We have not released any sort of pricing yet, so I'm, I'm, not, a, I'm not have at they liberty told you? to... Have they told you? They have, Do you know? They have not yet. <laughs> We're not Are you there lying yet. to me? I am not. <laughs> Are you sure? I am 100% sure. I've been lied to before We're in not, these situations. <laughs> We're not able to release list pricing at this time. So. Okay. We're still working through the pricing. Okay, then. Well, we're done with you. Okay. We're going to talk some iDataplex now. All right. Hi, how are you? And Danica, right? Yes. Okay. And you're here talking about showing the Fermi iDataplex. And let's, if you could open that up for us. And, and I don't know, for people that don't know, I mean, iDataplex is a different animal it from is. IBM. We're a half dip server solution. Uh, we have our own rack. Mm -hmm. um, basically cool, dense, flexible solution. Yeah. Uh, we get more servers in your data center. Uh, right now, this DX360 M3 is currently available okay. um, with the um, previous versions of the NVIDIA GPUs. Right here, we've got the... So that's where the GPU is yes, sitting up underneath right. there? And I actually have the versions that are currently available. This is a 1060 GPU from NVIDIA, and this is a 2050 GPU available from so NVIDIA. So two GPUs in this config. Right. Two GPUs per two U node of our data. Okay. And, uh, Reasonable amount of memory, reasonable yes, number of memory slots. Yes, we still have slots. your two Westmere uh, processors, okay. your 16 memory banks. Uh, we get up to four two and a half inch drives, or three two and a, or two three and a half inch drives on this two you know. Okay, and those can be uh, solid state, right? Solid state, SAS, or SATA. Correct. Nice, nice, very nice. And this is this has been available. Yes, this is available right now. You can go to IBM.com and order right now with the 1060 or the 2050 GPUs, and of course. When the 2070s are available, we'll have those. We'll be doing that too. Right. I mean, you know, ID, iDataplex is a really interesting machine. It is. It is. And it took you guys a while to, to roll it out for HPC. Okay. I mean, they were they were pretty much confining it to if you know what it is and know enough to ask about it, we'll send somebody out to talk to you. But it, it it's kind of the IBM way with something new. They kind of keep it confined to certain markets, and then it starts rolling out wider. And I, I mean, I'm seeing a lot of this, hearing a lot about this in HPC now. Well, I Dataplex, we can actually get it to you fully configured. So yeah. it is one of those solutions where we can work with you in the catalog. from top to bottom and get you exactly what well, you need. Well, this is kind of a different animal, though, that people buy this thing by the row. Right. 
I mean, it's not a onesie twosie. Right. It's not You're a right. well, would like one half populated place. Right. Which is why we'll send someone to talk to you about yeah. your needs. It's a it's a bigger deal mm -hmm. than than what we're talking about with something else. Right. Great. Anything else I should know? Like I said, we're already currently available. IBM.com. What would com. something like this cost? Um, the, right now, like I said, since it's already available, I don't know the specific prices, but oh, so you've been, you've been will, looking at him, and he's telling you don't say it, right? No, and like I said, we're already available okay. with the older GPU, point. so it's not a secret or anything. But it will depend on how you configure um, your nodes. That's a good point. Good point. Right. Well, thank you for the time. I appreciate oh, no it. No problem. Talk to you later. Thank you. Bye. -bye.